We'd like to welcome you from wherever in the world you join us today for this F1 qualifying session here in Shanghai, China. What's up guys and welcome back to my Robert Kubica career mode on F1 2017. This episode, it's the Chinese Grand Prix and if you missed the season opener in Australia, go check it out. I'll leave a link in the description below. Now then, practice went normal, nothing too mental. So here we are for qualifying. I can tell you now that we've taken our second ICE already. Full race weekend in Australia, three practice sessions here and the first one is dead. The other components, not too bad for now. So we'll just change the ICE and be mindful of the rate of wear. We're just going to have to make peace with the fact that given our engine and reliability, we're going to be going through a fair few engines and penalties uh, this season. Right, qualifying, we went out for a banker lap like I usually do. Wasn't too happy with the balance, so I came back in for a setup change. We go out again. This is our second outing. Still haven't got a lap time on the board. Fairly decent in the first sector. I know from practice here that I have the pace for at least P12, I'll say. Pushing on, you know, uh, gr grip isn't really the best for me right now. Uh, and halfway through the lap, as we come up to the end of the second sector, we find out why the grip is so bad because it has started raining. As you can see on the uh, back straight here, water droplets on the screen, it is definitely starting to rain. So horrible timing for us. Having still not set a lap time, we soldier on and uh, put in this lap time here. And I think it's going to be a 138 dead. And we're sitting P16 rather helpless because it's raining heavily now, slicks won't work and inters are just not fast enough. So we decide to go out on slicks anyway and take a shot because inters was just you know admitting defeat. So we go out on slicks and try and see if we can do something but it's raining very very heavily and as you can see yeah just going into the first corner it's a lost cause so in this rain you know no one's going faster anyway and i think i just got very unlucky with the timing if i was the one who set a fast lap first and it rained for everyone else or if i didn't need a setup change this story would have been very different but unlucky p16 it is yeah let's get into the race Oh, another wet race. Are you kidding me? Not again. Oh, man. I mean, I shouldn't be cribbing this much because, you know, wet races mean actual advantages for uh, lesser teams like Renault, you know, sort of neutralizes the grid a bit and masks our actual performance. But come on, let me just have some fun and race quickly in the dry. But it looks like this race, it's going to be completely wet. So... Strap in. <laughs> Let's remind ourselves of yesterday's qualifying session with a look at the starting grid. Sebastian Vettel has a clear track ahead of him today. He starts in pole position and Valtteri Bottas will line up alongside. Looking down the rest of the grid, we have Raikkonen, Hamilton, Max Verstappen and Ricardo, Hülkenberg, Kvyat, Grosjean and Carlos Sainz, Alonso, Massa, Esteban Ocon and Magnussen. A Renault, Stroll, Stoffel van Dorn, and Pascal Wehrlein, Ericsson, and Sergio Perez rounds off the grid. Now it's almost time to lights out, so let's go down to the track. Here we are on the grid for the start of the race. I think we're starting P15 because Perez has got a penalty. We're going to load up on a lot of fuel for the start of this race because, you know, let's be honest, we're going to need it. Five red lights. And away we go, lean revs at the start just to minimize wheel spin and it's been a very good start as we draw alongside Esteban Ocon going into this swooping right hander. Loads of different racing lines you can take here. I think Alonso is going around the outside. We're gonna duck into the inside and we are both gonna make up some places. We've gone from P15 to P11 and I think Alonso has overtaken Grosjean up into P9. 
we're gonna have to maximize our race here just gain as many positions as we can at the start of the race so here we, here we go down the inside of Grosjean not much he can do against me there and we've got him and it looks like we've just got the traction here to get past Alonso as well up into P9 but but it's not done here because Alonso is gonna come back around my outside take a very wide line and he's got the traction out of there to get me so we're gonna have to chase him now again he's gonna defend to the inside we're gonna have to do it around the outside just like he did he's gonna keep his nose in there but that's our corner and we squeeze him out and up into P9 we go at the end of lap 1 we are keeping P9 Grosjean behind us and I think that's Daniel Kvyat in front we are still not clear from Grosjean end of lap 2 uh, Grosjean is still a very real threat uh, with his uh, Ferrari engine so we're gonna have to make sure to get away from Grosjean before we can look at the back of Kvyat and I think that is Hulkenberg in front so I'd really love to get past Kvyat and get on to the back of my teammate as quickly as possible as we look uh, <laughs> yeah that's that's Roman Grosjean trying a move on us he is still a very real threat as I said but we're gonna defend our position into that corner and as we come up to the end of lap 4 we are still ahead and we still haven't made much inroad into catching Kvyat we're just you know consolidating this position at this point you know it's still very very rainy and it's I think it's gonna remain rainy for the entire race so just focusing on not dying and sliding off track still under attack from Grosjean but this is the closest we've ever been to uh, Kvyat so we're gonna go for a move here on lap 8 down the inside we go he's not gonna put up a lot of opposition I think we caught him napping a bit there that was a bit too easy for an overtake but hey, I'm gonna take it lap 8 we are position 8 behind our teammate Nico Hulkenberg so very good position for um, the Renaults now P7 and P8 if we can consolidate this to the end of the race I would be absolutely delighted looking up at the front the grid is a bit bunched up if I'm honest Sebastian Vettel leads from Kimi Raikkonen and uh, I think that's Valtteri Bottas um, Lewis Hamilton has already made his pit stop we are thinking about our pit stops now and Hulkenberg comes in on lap 10 for his first pit stop and we're gonna pit on the next lap Hamilton is behind us having already pit and I think that's Bottas coming out in front of us and we are holding Hamilton up a bit you know uh, Hulkenberg goes on to enters and uh, look at this we have somehow found ourselves in a bit of a Mercedes sandwich and at this point oh hang on Daniel Ricciardo is out of the race I think it's a regulation engine failure for the poor Australian and that's his race done we're still holding up Lewis Hamilton as I said he's already made his pit stop but I don't see why I should let him pass there's just no way I'm gonna let him pass and just have a free run at him but eventually on lap 12 we're gonna have to let him go because we come in for our pit stop again a simple stop uh, enters just a bit late getting out of the stop there and as we come out look what happens Verlein out of nowhere just comes in and smashes into the back of me and at this point I was like I thought my race was over and look at the onboard from what is he doing like I was in my white lines that was no fault of mine and he's just smashed into the back of me but and but thankfully you know no damage and we're gonna look at the back of uh, our teammate and after our pit stops I think we've come out worse um, 
Hulkenberg has overtaken um, Van Dorn and we see a shot of Bottas flying past Verstappen here so we're gonna have to make a move on Van Dorn very soon because we don't we can't let our teammate go by so it's the best opportunity down the back straight to get a McLaren Honda engine so we've flown, flown past uh, Van Dorn and Hulkenberg not wasting any time gets the other McLaren Honda of uh, Alonso and as we come up behind Alonso he actually releases us as he goes into the pits on uh, lap 14 that is and we are back up behind our teammate and speaking of our teammate somehow he seems like he's found some incredible pace as he's attacking Max Verstappen for us we are not letting this go I mean he is getting away from us a bit but we're gonna spend some time and by lap 19 we've caught up to our teammate in P6 and we are just uh, two seconds behind him in uh, P7 and at this point we were trying to mount an attack on Hulkenberg but he comes into the pits for a second pit stop and we were really I was really conflicted at this point because you know the team strategy was a two stop but I'm thinking I can definitely make a one stop work if I can just nurse my tires here I can bring it home in P6 ahead of my teammate but this racer's instinct you know what I mean you know I was nursing my tires and then I saw Verstappen out in front and I at this point I definitely thought he was a bit going a bit slower and I had a chance so I stressed my tires a bit here and look at this here we go for a battle with Max Verstappen it's gonna be side by side on the penultimate lap of the race and very different racing lines going through here as you can see but we keep our nose ahead and we get him P5 on the last lap of the race and we are in dreamland at this point just one sector to go and we can bring it home but look at this oh my god we've got a you see what's going on we've got a puncture we've got a left rear puncture and our world just comes crashing down just one sector to go and look at that both the force india has come through just swoop past me and we're going on the grass and it's just not pretty is it oh man meanwhile sebastian vettel comes through for another win this season kimi in p2 and bottas rounds off the podium and if this wasn't dreadful enough hulkenberg comes up and just pips us at the line and it's just a misery compiler we it's p9 it's p9 out onto the podium wherever you go anywhere in the world the prancing horse flags are dominant in the grandstands and they're out in force again today it's ferrari on the top step once more Not gonna lie, that hurts. <laughs> you know, drove a very good race in the rain. It was just too good to be true, you know. P5 in only our second race, but for it to end like that, yeah, shame. But still a very good result for Renault P8 and P9. Roll on Bahrain. Thank you so much for watching. Subscribe for more. And I'll see you next weekend for the Bahrain Grand Prix. Jan Parpeh.